me quiet in my best fit reading from hello hello and welcome to episode 23 of the downtown dish i am your host katie schamberger okay so this week's episode theme is popping bottles what is that even about we got some bottles we're gonna pop them so we, we have this fun idea so we thought we'd give you a look inside a couple of Kansas City's bottle shops. So we're gonna chat with Richard Garcia and Jamie Zoller, co-owners of Big Mood Natural Wines in the Crossroads. And yes, we do have some natural wine. We're gonna tell you all about what is natural wine. Isn't all wine natural wine? It's not. Uh, they've got tons to share. They've got some events going on that you need to know about. Super cool. Then we're gonna take a peek inside KC Soda Company in the city market. If you are a soda fan and you have not been in here, it's like, it's heaven. I mean, it's heaven. They've got everything organized by flavor. They've got hard to find stuff like cheer wine, which is typically only available in North Carolina and they struck a deal so we can have the cherry deliciousness here in KC. Then we thought with the bottle theme and talking about different beverages, there's some good stuff happening around downtown right now, some openings. So we thought we'd just make it a whole celebratory episode. So we're gonna give you the scoop on a couple of new businesses that have opened. Also put a couple things on your radar so thank you so much for being here we are so excited big thanks this week to our partners at downtown council kc streetcar kansas city downtown neighborhood association and linchpin ideas so here we go we're gonna dive in grab your beverage of choice i cannot wait to taste this i love cherry soda or you know grab some wine it's thursday afternoon it's happy hour and let's dive into this week's episode. So, newsflash, the seasons are changing, things are changing. So, get out your calendar. Next Wednesday, October 21st, is going to be the final performance of the Garment District Grooves concert series. I know, I know, but they are going to go out with a bang there at Garment District Park, 8th and Broadway, 11.30 to 1. Bring a chair, bring a blanket, bring your lunch, or they are going to have not one, but two food trucks on hand next week, including the wildly popular and recently opened Cafe Cafe, which is a Vietnamese... A mobile coffee shop that was funded in part on Kickstarter so I can't wait to try it I've heard nothing but great things and also Newt's unique kitchen is gonna be there so you can always buy your lunch get a, a coffee beverage kick back and relax 1130 to 1 next Wednesday the 21st for the final garment district grooves concert of the season Okay, so we're popping bottles this episode. We're talking about bottled beverages, and then we're going to drink those bottled beverages to celebrate that there are businesses opening right now. I just want to give them a hug and say thank you, but a couple of businesses to be sure to put on your radar. First is Hotel Kansas City is open so exciting it's gorgeous i got a tour of it when it was still under construction and they have done such a remarkable job of preserving the history of that building the original location of the kansas city club but you know got some modern touches obviously furnishings and things like that so here's the deal you can stop in anytime they've got a gorgeous bar right in the lobby so grab a cocktail they've got a remarkable wine list they also have a little coffee shop there right in the lobby too with uh 
pastries and other baked goods made there on site. So of course you can stay. Um, I would go to their website and check out your options and then save the date next week october 23rd is going to be the official opening of hotel kansas city's in-house restaurant the town company this is brought to us by the absolute magician um, chef patrick ryan from port fonda has hopped over here to introduce a new concept there's a great bar there's going to be this whole like hearth area where they're going to be um, baking things and kind of roasting things there over an open flame but food but also like garnishes for cocktails so it's it's really cozy and delightful so definitely when you can check out hotel kansas city you'll probably see me there at the bar so cheers On the downtown dish, we are popping bottles. We're talking about good things happening and we're talking about bottled beverages. And you guys have got to check out Big Mood Natural Wines in the Crossroads. So excited to welcome co founders Richard Garcia and Jamie Zoller here with us on the dish. How are you guys? Great, doing well. And we're missing that we're missing a co founder. Right, uh, Jamie, Liz, uh, your wife Liz is also... Right, she couldn't be here today. She's stuck at her daily grind. So glad to have you guys on. I feel like, take us a little bit in the background, because I feel like Big Mood Natural Wines has not been open all that long. Not long at all. It's been just over two months. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're very much a brand new space. So tell us, break us down, because I've had some friends ask me this. They say, what are natural wines? Because I thought all wines are natural. So give us the, give us the scoop. Sure, so um, by what we mean uh, by natural wines, because there's not really a regulated definition about you know, what makes a, a wine a natural wine necessarily. It's really more a philosophical approach, philosophical movement within uh, the wine community. Okay. And, I think first and foremost, it comes down to um, the farming practices um, that the, the grapes that are used to make the wines are farmed organically or biodynamically, which is mm -hmm. a form of organic uses, a more holistic approach, a uh, farming approach, incorporating farm animals, um, and really they're, they're farming for soil health. Um, and also with, within all these farming practices uh, for natural wine, they're not using um, an abundance of agrochemicals like petrochemicals, herbicides, fungicides, pesticides, things like that okay. in the vineyard. And then uh, step two would be in the winery, um, when they're making the wines, they're not correcting for flaws or mistakes in the wines. Um, so conventionally made wines can use uh, quite a number of additives in order to correct for sweetness, acidity, texture, color. things like that. Color, yeah, uh, color is a big one for sure. Um, and and then furthermore, um, conventionally made wines don't have to. There's no regulation guiding them to uh, put display any of that stuff that they're putting in the wine on the right world. okay so there's really a lot of transparency in the, the conventional wine world and um, yeah I think we're, we're really more about wines that are um, yeah that, that um, are a little bit more transparent I think in their practices yeah and a little more hands-off maybe I feel like it's like it's just kind of giving the wine more room to like be and so I, I personally I am a huge fan of natural wines I feel like if I could use one word to describe them and I always am so uncomfortable talking to people who know a lot about wine but to me they're like funky like sure. they could be a little cloudy or the flavor as you were saying maybe you get a little bit of a tartness or a little more acidity because there is not any like added you know any kind of sugar additive or sweetener um sure. so i love them yeah a so lot good of times these wines are, are picked for their acidity 
So they're, they're picked earlier than later. So they're not gonna have super high alcohol content either. Um, and they, they display just more, uh, more of like, um, like a tension um, okay. in them. And they, they just seem more alive. And a lot of them are still very much so alive in the bottle. So let's say somebody's stopping in, they haven't had natural wines. I know you guys are there, of course, with recommendations. Jamie, I know I stopped in a few weeks ago. You, you sent me away with a couple of amazing bottles. Um, any just kind of tips for shoppers on, you know, is it best, like, let's say you do like white wines, as I do, you know, would you would you start kind of in the natural white wine section or what else do you say to kind of guide people through that process? I, you know, usually it's, it's the same process really that we use uh, when we were um, psalms on the floor of restaurants. Um, you kind of ask a couple of questions um, to our guests, to our customers, and uh, kind of find out what their com comfort zone is, um, what mm -hmm. they're used to drinking, and then maybe what they're also curious about. Um, and then also you kind of want to find out like things that they're, they have aversions to. A lot of times it's, I don't want to drink a sweet wine, um, which is pretty easy for us, you know. <laughs> right. It's a really easy yeah. uh, guiding light for us. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 a, it's really about you and your experience and what you want to get out of the, the bottle um, or, you know, what, where your comfort level is. Like you want to explore orange wines or, um, you know, if you only drink Chardonnay, um, you know, we can make a pretty easy pivot to a couple other great varietals that are in that realm that'll that'll kind of do the same trick for you. Well, and I love it too that you both have that uh, sommelier experience because I know, Jamie, I think we talked a little bit about this, but um, I was stopping in specifically for one instance where I, I wanted a food pairing. Um, I picked up a bottle of Lambrusco, which is one of my very favorites. Um, and served it at home pizza. with pizza that I grilled. It was so good. So, but you guys have just the depth of experience too. So with so much carry out, you know, carry out dining happening right now, lots of cooking at home, you know, people can come in and kind of either have a specific meal in mind maybe, or kind of planning for something and then could maybe have you um, help them navigate their wine selections too. Yeah. Totally, yeah. Awesome. So tell us, um, I know that you mentioned some of fun events happening in October. So what do you have on the radar? Well, we have public tastings every Thursday this month. Um, they're from five to seven. And, um, you know. Writing that down, uh, mm -hmm. five to seven. <laughs> We've, we've got a pretty good system. We open the doors and um, it's definitely spread out. We do ask that you wear a mask when you when you arrive. Um, but, you know, we've got fans going, we've got doors open. Um, everything feels pretty safe. Um, and that's five awesome. to seven. We'll have somebody pouring wines. Um, the last Thursday of the month, we'll actually be doing agave spirits. So mark your count. Awesome. Um, before I let you go, we have a question. We ask everybody, putting you both in the hot seat, but hopefully you have a little fun with it. Um, real quick, any shout outs to other downtown businesses, restaurants, bars, where where you both like to spend some of your time? Um, and maybe even not necessarily, but in the in the past or coming up. Oh, yes. You find us at Campground on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights after we close our shop, usually. We're down there to say hello to our buddy Chris. I haven't been there, and I'm, like, dying. You should go. They're, they're, they, they keep it super safe. It's nice. It's all outdoors. All they outside. Yeah, they don't really let anyone inside, which is great. Um, super spaced out. They have, like, campfires going right now. It's super fun. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Jamie, any other shout outs? You know, or... if we're not at the campground, Grunauer is right across the street. It's yeah. been a favorite uh, of ours for years. For so. sure. And um, uh, Ravenous kind of got us through a lot of uh, long planning days before our uh, shop opened up. And they're over in Parlor now. So I did finally have that burger. It was everything I dreamed it super would be. Super delicious. Yeah. I mean, we could keep shouting people out because <laughs> we do love all of our neighbors. Um, Cannon Wine yeah. Bar, of course, Berry Tunnel. 
always uh, he's a gem. Love that. Love yeah. Gary. Everybody's going to check out Big Mood Natural Wines at 2020 got Baltimore. It. Yes, Nailed got it. it. But thank you both so much for coming on the dish. If you have any news or anything to share going forward, please come back anytime. You've always got a seat at our table, and I would love to see Thanks, you. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Speaking of celebrating grand openings, have you heard of Sauced? This is a new sandwich counter. They just opened last week, and I have heard raves, just raves. So it's a, it's a lunch counter, so not a lot of seating options, but you can take your food with you. And it's right there at the Corrigan Station building at 1881B Main Street. 1881B Main Street. Again, it's called Sauced. So incredible sandwiches. The burgers look really good. And you know how I feel about a burger. You can go there. They do have online ordering um, through Toast on their website. So we're gonna drop that link here. Um, they've got, they're open. They've got their hours of operation that they're open throughout the week. Um, they go until sellout, so I'd say if you want to try them here in the next few days, definitely maybe try to go down a little earlier in the lunch hour as opposed to later, but definitely check out Sauced. So glad you guys are here in downtown Kansas City, and you'll be seeing me very soon. Okay, so we're talking all things bottled this week. And that includes soda. I was saying it earlier in the episode, but if you have not been to KC Soda Company in the city market, you've got to get there. And even if you have been, go back. Because can you even imagine all the flavors? I don't know how long it would take if you tried to sample everything that they had. But there's also some things I don't know about, like ranch-flavored soda butter flavored soda i mean listen i love ranch i love butter but in a soda i don't know but you go in it's so great everything is organized by flavor so if you have a particular flavor i'm a cherry or an orange gal fyi you can head straight to that section the knowledgeable staff there can give you recommendations Kale helped me out the other day and he was tremendous. He recommended an, a non-alcoholic apple beer that I have yet to try and also told me about another black cherry soda that I got in addition to the cheer wine that I'm so pumped about. So super cool. You can go in and shop. You can kind of create your own little soda packs. If you're maybe shopping through the market or you've gotten some carryout food uh, from a restaurant and you're looking for a beverage, here's a fun fact. They can chill any bottle of soda for you there in the store in three minutes. So they do have some uh, cold sodas already refrigerated. By and large, most of the product is not refrigerated, but they can help you out. And you guys, they were giving me the scoop as we go into the holiday season, they have some really fun stuff lined up. I'm gonna just drop three words for you, and then we're gonna talk about it here in another few weeks. Soda Advent Calendar. Write a different soda every day. Oh my gosh, so go see them. They've got lots of stuff. They've got also good mixers for drinks. They've got some um, wonderful uh, different flavors. I, I noticed a lavender soda. Um, so if you kind of want to play mixologist. Also, if you or someone you know is a root beer fan, there's like multiple shelves dedicated just to root beer. So definitely go in, check it out, tell them the Downtown Dish sent you, and then tweet us, Instagram us, at Downtown Dish KC. Let us know what you tried there at KC Soda Company, and we'll know what to try I can't next. Keep up. I can't keep up. Do you just feel festive? 
celebratory. I mean, we've got so many options of things to drink. I got to decide which bottle I'm going to pop. I really want this cheer wine soda. Oh my gosh. I'm a big Dr. Pepper fan too. So apparently kind of similar, but also picked up this South African natural wine from Big Mood Natural Wines. So really excited to dive in and try that. Hope that you all will get down to both Big Mood and Casey Soda Company here very soon. Again, big congrats to Hotel Kansas City and Sauce on your recent grand openings. The Town Company, the restaurant inside Hotel Kansas City, opening next week on October 23rd. And we're hearing some more openings coming our way throughout November. So we're going to keep tabs on that. Stay tuned to upcoming uh, episodes of The Downtown Dish. And of course, check in on our Twitter and Instagram at Downtown Dish KC. Hope you have a great weekend. Pop your favorite bottles. And we'll see you back here next week for our sixth month episode. Woo! See you then.